Here I'm going to show you how to get an integer with a lower and upper limit which is randomly generated. So a number for instance between 10 and 50 and between 300 and 400 which is randomly generated. Now there are many reasons you may want to do this if you're using uh, numbers for a simulation model, sensitivity analysis, a range of things or if you just want to create a large list of randomly generated numbers within limits you're going to use the rand between function. Now it's only going to give you integers, so you will not get a decimal or a fraction here. So let me show you how it works. Equals rand between, so r-a-n-d between, open parentheses. Now put the bottom in, which is the lowest number that can occur. So for here I want 10, comma, now the top, or the highest number that you want to occur. And here that's going to be 50. So hit enter. And the randomly generated number is 11. Now let's do the same thing for the number between 300 and 400. Equals rand between, open parentheses, the bottom, 300, comma, now the top, 400. Close parentheses, enter. So it's very easy to do that. Now also note that this number changed when I hit enter down here. Also if you hit F9, the randomly generated numbers are going to change again within their limits. So every time that I press F9, the numbers are going to change. But they're always going to be within their limits, between 10 and 50, and then between 300 and 400. And also, if you have the same formulas, so if I copy this down, so now rand between here is exactly like this one, the numbers are not going to be the same because they're randomly generated. Same with this. So that's how you generate um, large lists of random integers.